Welcome to Zapier. Whether you're new or an expert in automation, you've come to the right place. Throughout this email series, we will help you learn Zapier in 14 days and take advantage of how our AI orchestration platform makes life easier for RevOps professionals. By the end, you'll be confidently creating multi-step automations that connect your favorite apps, save you time, and scale your operations. So let's jump right in with our first use case, capturing and organizing new leads with Zapier. We're building a system that automatically collects leads from all your different sources and puts them right into your CRM. This template creates a risk minimizing lead capture system that you can update from one central location rather than across multiple zaps. So let's get started. We'll start off with heading to the Zapier templates library and locating our unified lead capture template. Once we click the try it button to set up the automation process, our template will be created and include all the steps we need to begin customizing our lead capture system. You'll see a visual map of the workflow in Canvas. This includes apps for each lead source, such as Facebook, Google Ads, TikTok, LinkedIn, and G2 Crowd. But you can always switch up these apps with the ones you use in your tech stack. Plus, a central catch-all sub-zap that standardizes and routes your leads and steps to add leads to your CRM. Let's start with our interface form. This will be one of the triggers that kicks off our automation. We'll click the interface form from Canvas, and that takes us to our interface page. From here, we'll click into our interface form and submit a test entry to make sure the rest of the automation runs smoothly. Nice. Going back to our interface page, we'll click on our connected zap. That takes us to our zap editor, and from here, we'll test our trigger step with the test record we just submitted. Awesome work. Moving on to our action step, the subzap. Subzaps are like action shortcuts in a zap. They're groups of actions you can reuse, and they can share information with other zaps. Using them means you don't have to recreate the same steps over and over. Just plug in the subzap wherever you need it. So in this case, the information we field map in this action step can be used in all of our other zaps in this automation too. Now that we have all of our fields mapped to the data from our interface form, we'll test our action step. And our test was a success. Moving on, we'll repeat the same process with our Webflow Zap. We'll connect our Webflow account, the website, and the Contact Us form that we submitted. Nice! We found our test record and can move on to our subzap. Fill out the corresponding fields from the test record form and click Continue. Awesome work! Our subzap for Webflow successfully ran. So now that we have a clear understanding of how to set up each individual zap, we'll quickly set up the remaining zaps and connect each one with our other platforms. In each sub zap, review the fields being mapped, such as the name, email, company, and job title. Each of these apps will provide different variations of the same customer information, which we'll then format, organize, and store in our CRM HubSpot. Now that we have all of our zaps set up, Check your CRM to see if the leads appear correctly. And that's it. Just click publish and you've got yourself a fully automated lead capture workflow. Want to explore more automation templates like this one? Check out the Zapier templates library to find the perfect pre-built workflows for your team with no setup required. Look for automations that fit your workflow, the apps you use, and the Zapier tools you have. You'll find a pre-made template that you can start using right away. In the next lesson, we'll show you how to set up an AI-powered sales attribution tracker that analyzes conversations, pinpoints effective sales reps, and automatically updates your CRM with attribution data. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.